when we become a Christian, our spirit is renewed. But many times there are what the Bible calls strongholds in our mind that are actually programmed because of the way we've been raised and because of just sin, sin nature. Doesn't matter if you're raised in the perfect home, you still have things in your mind that are not thinking straight. All your straight. thoughts are not your own. They're fiery darts of the wicked. They're right. suggestions from the enemy or accusations from the enemy or lies from the enemy that lodge. That's what makes them, they take root. That's yes. what makes them fiery. You're right. And they are tormentors and, and they become a stronghold. They have a grip on you. Now you talk about overcoming the hidden beliefs, the lies, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the perfect lies. Somehow yes. they were perfect enough that you believed them. Right. They, the they just have a deceived. little touch of truth, just yeah. like um, so in the tell, Garden of Eden. Tell us what some of them were, because you you hammer it here. Right. Things like. And by the way, did did getting to know this break the yoke, reverse the trend? Getting to know it was the first part of it, James. But the second part of it was learning how to identify the pictures that were lodged in my brain. Because you know, our, our bodies think in the form of pictures. Jesus knew this because he spoke in parables. Right. It's so easy to communicate a truth in a Absolutely. picture. So what I learned how to do was to identify those false pictures that were bringing pain and stress into my life and to actually take five minutes to ask myself, what's the truth of this picture? and how would the picture look differently than what I'm remembering if it were, if I shine the light of truth on it? Mm -hmm. it? You know, if Jesus were in the picture, what would his response be? What would his reaction be based on the word of God?